We are continuing to follow the surge of asylum seekers arriving in New York. New York City's migrant intake shelter at the Roosevelt Hotel reaching capacity over the weekend. Dozens of asylum seekers and families sitting on the streets, as you see right here, surrounding the hotel. The only relief was inside some city buses and vans parked outside the entrance. We feel bad because we are in the street. We sit in the street. We don't like to sit in the street. Yeah, they sleep outside last night. Sleeping outside is not easy. City estimates it will cost $4 billion over the next two years to pay for the migrant influx, with less than half being covered by the state and federal government. More than 90,000 asylum seekers have sought refuge in New York City since last spring. Meanwhile, after dozens of migrants were recently bussed up from New York City to Schenectady, local lawmakers are urging the city to help with the increased costs. In a statement, Assemblyman Angelo Santa Barbara says that schools will now need to accommodate a larger number of students who need English as a second language. He's asking New York City to provide the additional funding necessary and urging federal representatives to intervene.